everybody, Arnaldo Hoffman here of Wolf Mix Video Manuals. Now, before we really do anything about adding fixtures or whatnot, let's link up the 3D Viewer. Now, the 3D Viewer does not come with Wolf Mix. It is a separate app and there is a small charge to be able to connect it. Some of you may think that's a nickeling and diming thing, but it's more of development cost. This is an absolutely incredible 3D viewer. As a matter of fact, if you compare it against other 3D options such as Capture, you're going to see that the visualization of their Easy 3D has really go gone above and beyond what they used to have. It is definitely better than I would say 80% of the 3D programs out there, so they have to make up their costs somehow. Not everybody's going to need a visualizer, so that's why they did not add that cost into WolfMix. But honestly, I do think everybody that has this unit should get the visualizer because unless you're going to sit there and program your entire show right then and there while it's all hooked up, it makes it a lot easier. Let's get this set up. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your W Tools is open and we're going to go ahead and enable our 3D link. Now, as of the time of writing this, there is a uh, Connect app. I've talked to the developer about this and he's basically going to find a way to bypass the Connect app because it's one extra step that doesn't really need to be there. But just in case, Easy View Connect, we're going to connect that. Now, it's a little confusing right now the time of writing or doing this video. It does not show the hardware that is available or the software that it's going to. There it is. We're going to just kind of minimize this guy here. And it's up here in the system tray and let's open this up so for now we're gonna keep it very simple so we're gonna just go ahead and have all three views or all four views here and you can control your ambient lighting your beams fog this is actually much easier to access than some of the other stuff or some of the other software out there so let's add a fixture now here I can import a 3d object from an external file I just need to add a fixture and you know I'm going to do let's do the ADJ the five P's there's a 5p hex pearl and I always do mode 3 which is eight channels and I actually have four of those so we're gonna do four fixtures universe one okay patch it up baby and there it is great uh, let's go ahead and add a couple more. So I'm actually going to search now for, let's do the InnoSpot Pro. Let's take a look here. So we've got the 5P hexes. One, two, three, four. If they're wrong, I'll be able to obviously control that from Wolf Mix itself. Now things may be acting a little weird because I do have Wolf Mix uh, hooked up with an existing show. So we won't worry about that too much right now. So we're going to grab all four fixtures. Here we go. One, two, three, four, or I can just grab them this way. So we're just going to use this to move it down. Perfect. Now we're going to grab our lights. And now let's do the rotation. And pretty simple. It's not perfect, but I just needed to get some sort of visual in there. And now we've not only connected Wolf Mix to the 3D software, but we've been able to quickly patch something in there. Again, insanely powerful software, which I can show you later on with a more advanced show. Uh, but I just want to kind of keep it simple, stupid in here. You can load trusses, tables, again, any kind of 3D object. Even people have loaded some stuff I believe that they made with Google SketchUp. So it's pretty dope. So again, pretty simple, and we've gotten your show to connect to the 3D viewer and just patched a couple of fixtures. Now, the 3D viewer is a lot more powerful than this, but we just need to get to the basics so I can start showing you how to add your fixtures and how to program and have fun with this on the fly. If you have any questions, comments, etc., please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.